Hello, welcome to the Political Messages Part 2 video. So, just quickly, if you have not seen the video that was released on Tuesday, you might want to take a peek at it. Um, but we're going to just continue on <clears throat> today from where we left off. Before I do, thank you so much to my subscribers. Thank you to the donors. Your generosity always blows me away. Um, your comments and the thumbs up are so important to me. They're so in, they're so special because they they you know they draw more energy and attention to this channel. And hopefully, the intention with this channel was always always to attract the people who most needed to hear the messages from Soulprint, the messages from this channel. Um, and so thank you so very, very much for being here. I'm incredibly grateful. For any of you who are interested in scheduling a private reading, the information is in the little box below. Um, and I, basically you just need to send an email asking for reading information to soulprint888 at gmail.com. And I will reply to you. I actually have a couple of openings left for next week. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, there's a couple of openings there. So um, if you're interested in getting a reading, certainly next week I have openings the week after, at, you know, as we go forward. So if that's something you're interested in, you know, send me a quick note and I will fire out the information that you need and require. Okay. So we're talking about the energy shifts that are going to take place as a result of some really huge, significant um, astrological events that are taking place this month, in the month of March. It's, you know, all the astrologers say this is a really, really big deal. This is the kind of thing that just doesn't happen very often. And so... I wanted to continue to connect with spirit um, so they could help us not only understand but navigate um, the kind of energies that we can anticipate as we go forward. So um, spirit, if you would please like to continue. Okay, so one of the things that they really want to talk about is understanding the motivation behind those people, organizations, institutions that are continually trying to focus on hate, exclusion, privilege, those groups that are trying to command and control the populations and those lower, you would call them vibrational energies that are so against a lot of the forward strides, if you will, that have been made in recent years and decades, such as, you know, women's personal health, such as marrying and being in a relationship with who you love and not based on gender, about being inclusive to those with some kind of a challenge to an ability, to having compassion and understanding for people who pray a different way, who believe a different way, who think a different way. The energy that you are going to be witnessing now is the energy of that segment, and it is worldwide, but that segment, it's just somehow so apparent in the United States. Like the lines are so firmly drawn that it, it's just, like really easy to see using the U.S. as an example. So what you have is a, you know, a real challenge between that group of, of people that are trying to move things forward and that group of people who are just determined not only to move them forward, but to push 
back against any of the progress that has been made and return it to, you know, what was before. And so you need to be very cognizant and aware of the fact that when those people on the right are pushing back, they are pushing back from a place of fear and anxiety. They are basically being told by the rest of the country, by the rest of the world, that your thinking, the way you want to do things, is no longer relevant in the world as it is changing and being created and, you know, moving forward. And so you have a group of people that are are being told in many ways that they're thinking the way they want to do things is is becoming irrelevant. It's it's no longer acceptable. It's it's no longer viewed as correct. So what you have are people who feel caged and boxed in and irrelevant, and they are pushing back and they are going to push back um, forcefully with anger they're going to push back with fear because they are coming from a place of fear so that is where you're going to get the Jim Jordans doing these ridiculous investigations and you know what let him carry on because every time he opens his mouth he shows the world the reality of what he is and where he's at. You're going to continue to see these, these sort of vengeance tours. I mean, that is what, you know, Trump is doing, right? His politics, he wants to get back into office. Well, really, he wants to get back into office so he doesn't end up in jail. But should he be successful, everything about what he's talking about is about revenge. You know, you didn't love me enough, you weren't loyal enough, you weren't this enough or that enough. And so now, as president, I'm going to become a dictator and I am going to make sure that you pay for that. There are some people within the Republican Party, like the Jim Jordans, like the Matt Gates, like the Marjorie Taylor Greens, who seem to be in step with that kind of dangerous and harmful and lower vibration energy and focus so you're going to see more of that because they're trying to stay relevant they're trying to convince the world that the way they think and the way they believe is important and matters and it, it is relevant and it's not and it's no longer working so you're going to get this sort of volatility and you need to be prepared to not only recognize the volatility, but to learn how to extract yourself from it. So you are not functioning from a place of fear. It's very, very hard to hold the light. If you're from, if you're functioning in this place of, I'm so scared, I can, I can, you know, my heart's palpitating. Okay. Like that's not, um, conducive to good light work but sometimes it can be really hard to get to that place because this is the world that we all share and when you have a segment or a force that is pushing back so forcefully it unbalances things now meanwhile you have this other you know this other dynamic going on which is far more inclusive, far more loving, far more giving everybody a chance, you know, helping everybody to, to sort of achieve the best that they can achieve. Um, and that energy, even though there are going to be days and weeks and horribly, but possibly months where that just doesn't feel like an, a, a reality, you're going to find that that energy continues to build and pick up momentum momentum and continue to grow so you are going to see a strengthening of the democratic party you are going to see a strengthening of joe biden's 
um, policies, you're going to see um, people continuing to become involved and stay involved. You know, <clears throat> this is the thing. Some, you know, during the Trump pregnancy, I often said that, you know, that man spent more time shooting off his own foot than anything else. And you're going to continue to see the Republicans sort of mimicking that behavior because on so many issues, they are against what the country want so they're they're right backwards on gun laws they're right backwards on this abortion issue they're right backwards on you know the lgbtq etc community and their rights um we're not going to talk about black rights because i swear some of these people had to have been slave owners and i just can't imagine that there were that many slave owners but man do they ever have that mentality so as as the light increases you're going to see what has happened is in those areas frankly to you you know your kind of english they have pissed off a lot of people and you can't piss off that volume of people in that many areas without it really backfiring on you Okay, and that's just the reality. So not only are the Republican Party functioning from a place that is not in sync with the rest of the country, more and more you have the narratives coming out about the big lie and all of that, and that's not holding water anymore. I mean, Carrie Lake is running around making an absolute fool of herself, continuing this nonsense. Um, there, it, you know, you're with clarity, with light comes the clarity, with the clarity comes the compassion and the understanding and the ability to think outside the current boxes so you can figure out solutions that are um, just frankly, energetically a better fit for where the country is or civilization is right now. It's also important that you understand that there are going to be areas within the government and governments at all levels that over the next series of years are going to really really start to shift um one of the things that they're they're sort of bringing to mind is the fact that apparently Ron DeSantis in Florida has a veto-proof legislation or legis legislative body. So he pretty much can do whatever he wants and get away with it and be supportive. But again, you're going to see that kind of energy shifting where those kinds of kind of bully wannabe dictator energy um, are going to really start to feel that counterweight coming at them. And you're not going to have um, extreme politicians basically getting the support of their legislative bodies that perhaps they have in the past. So notice that that shift and that transition is also going to be coming. Now, it's also really important that you remember that really everybody lives in their own reality. Okay, what um, is impacting me today is not impacting you guys. Okay, and what you're dealing with in your home and your life right in this moment, it's kind of not impacting me. We really do live individual existences. Um, so it's really important to tune in once in a while to the collective energy to kind of see what's what's going on um, because it's so easy for us to just sort of become, get a little bit of tunnel vision. And that is exactly what has happened to the Republican Party, right? They believe their own press releases um, and the more 
they feel threatened, the more they are going to push back. All right. So can I get some other tangibles in terms of what we can anticipate over the next three years? Um, and and how you know we can work with that and understand it all right so again there are going to there's going to be the the, the general theme really is this sense of responsibility that people are going to be sort of forced to take um where it comes to illusions lies secrets um that kind of energy it's not going to do well. You can anticipate structures, government structures, medical structures, you know, structure, university schooling structures, whatever, breaking down as a new energy comes in to implement newer and better ways to um, to function. You can anticipate. That in some places around the world, you are going to see more protests, more people standing up and saying, you know what, government, I've had it with you. You can't do this to us. Um, and so th that's, it feels like in some ways there's going to be a lot of sort of turmoil in the next few years. But there is also going to be a sense of course correction. Um, where things have gotten so far out of out of sort of balance that you're going to really start seeing. But this is the interesting thing: that the course is not going to correct to its previous setting on the dial. Okay, it's going to reset to a new place on that dial because this is a new energy. This is a new time. This is just energetically. There's so much going on on the earth that is supporting the progress of the earth going forward that um, that really is going to be the, the focus of, of, you know, what you're going to see happening. Um, the other thing that I want, you know, that they're asking that you be really aware of is this sort of whole notion of, um, again, go back to it, this sort of we all really do live in our individual world, which means we are going to also be experiencing the energy differently, depending on our own sort of sense of vibration. So it's important that we sort of realize that and recognize that. Um, and in our day-to-day -day dealings, start to really appreciate that Honestly, not only are most of us not on the same page, most of us, hell, most of us aren't reading the same book, and frankly, a whole bunch of us aren't even in the same library, okay? Um, so it's important to, again, take the time to stay connected to the outside world, but balance that off with the um, ability to sort of be able to push away or diminish the impact of that lower vibrational energy because you want it to um, be more light filled. And you can, of course, do that by diminishing the impact or the importance or the significance of that lower vibrational energy. Okay, is there anything else you would like to tell me at this time that um, I can pass on? So at this point, they're saying, listen, there's going to be a lot of chatter, you know, CPAC, um, the whole, you know, people sort of out there kind of gearing up for their, uh, the, the presidential run in 2024. Um, basically, the message is this. In some ways, in terms of whoever gets nominated, it, it will not be Trump. But whoever does get nominated... Um, is going to discover that they are so out of step with 
the masses that the Democrats will absolutely hold the White House in the 2024 election, and they are going to increase Senate and House seats because I, um, you know, two years of watching the Republicans make embarrassing fools out of themselves with all these investigations and all these committees is going to diminish um, you know, their ability to get reelected. People are going to want to see change and work and it being done and accomplished. And you're going to see that there's, again, another one of those pushbacks against these pretend red waves. It's, it's kind of a funny thing, but the final thing that they're leaving me with is this sort of understanding or awareness of the fact that even though there is going to be a lot of old ideas kind of coming apart and falling down, it's really super important that you know that the intention is for positive growth, more and more light-filled energy work being done, for a more inclusive, um, loving, forgiving, understanding place and space that the earth is truly um, trying to come to and achieve. In some ways, it is very much the destiny of the earth to continue to try to find that place where there is a greater sense of harmony and balance. Okay. I'm hoping that was helpful to you. Um, I am, again, so thankful that you're here. Thank you so very, very, very much. Um, don't forget to check out your Saturday morning uh, Pick Your Crystal Weekly Reading if you're interested in those. Those continue to be released every Saturday morning. And um, it's a weekend. You know, take care. Take some time. Enjoy something. Find something that makes you laugh and makes you smile. And until next time, take care and be well. Bye-bye.